We are here today in unity, not only as Indian nations, but as cowboys and Indians, to stop something that could desecrate our land and our way of life. I represent the farmers, ranchers, and landowners who are in opposition to the Keystone XL pipeline. I'm proud to be here today. We welcome you and we welcome all cowboys in the fight against the pipeline. As President Obama has said, he wants to ensure that he protects the future of his children's children. Our kids want a future. Sasha and Malia aren't living on that pipeline. We are. Our children are. I'm here to speak up for my children, for my family, for our future. We can't go out and do what we need to do on a daily basis due to what a foreign company has come in and ripped from us. We've got to stop this pipeline. As a First Nations woman, when you live at the source of the destruction, you have to find hope in something. And this is, this is where I come for that. We are here for one simple reason, and it is to tell President Obama to reject the Keystone XL pipeline in order to protect our land and water. We have stopped the pipeline in its tracks for the last five and a half years. The tribes have the moral authority and farmers and ranchers have the rights to their land to make sure that TransCanada will never cross our land and water and we will stop the tar sand at the source once and for all.